Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis. I did a video on how to draw a glow and came to my thought that you might like to see how to draw a glow around a candle. This is what a finished product would look like. What I did was I did two different techniques I, and I will do another drawing to show you the two different techniques and then I will tell you the one that I like the best. But I think you must admit that it really does have a glow of a candle and flame. The tools that you need to do glow for a candle are a malleable eraser and they come in a little gray rectangular square and you just squeeze it up as if it's plasticine. And in this case I ended up buying a 9B pencil and I'm working with a 9B and a 6B. The other thing is I have another piece of paper where I can take my 9B pencil and if you see here this side is very flat here. And what I do is I put this on another piece of paper and I'm just putting graphite on this paper. The reason I'm doing that is that I can come back and pick the graphite up on my cloth or my paper towel. So I have a cloth, a very soft cloth, and I have a paper towel. I found that the paper towel did work better than the cloth. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll use the paper towel, but you can use a soft sh chamois or a soft cloth instead. And basically, just the neck of the candle here, now, if your flame has a little bit of uh, wind blowing, it can be over angled over a bit more and you will have a little bit of a back where the wax has melted down inside. So when you watch my video of how to draw a glow with pencil, you will see that we started in the corner here or on the edge here, very dark, and then pulled the graphite out to the edge until it disappeared. We are going to do that in reverse. So we're going to put the graphite quite dark here. I'm using the very, very flat edge of the 9B. 9B has a softer graphite than the 6B. And you can take your cloth, and I'll show you what it looks like with the cloth. You just wrap the cloth around your finger and you press quite hard, rubbing it as you go in. You don't have enough graphite on there that's where you go in here and pick up or you can use more pencil like this and then go back in again As you get closer to the actual flame, you don't want much graphite there at all. So that's how the cloth works. Then with the paper towel, you've got the same thing happening. And I'm pressing quite hard. If you want, you can pick up graphite from here. And this is what I do when I'm actually wanting to sharpen the pencils a bit. I never put them into a pencil sharpener. I always just rub them on this same page in my sketchbook. So there's always a bit of graphite there when you want some. And I'm pressing lighter as I get to the candle. But you can see there's quite a nice glow around the candle here. I'm going to do a bit more 9B very lightly. I don't want to have a lot of graphite. As you get to the bottom, there's less light down there so you can strengthen it. You can leave your candle white if you want to. You can make it dark to give it a, a good glow. I'm going to go to the 6B for this. You will get some reflected light on the rim so if you're making it dark you can have it darker near the bottom.
In this one, I'm doing circular motions rather than the way we did it and how to draw a glow around an item. Now the Malleable Eraser is really good. You can roll it, put a point on it. If you want to light, take a bit of the graphite off, you can make a flat side and just lift a wee bit of the graphite and extend the glow or soften the glow a wee bit. And then you take a point of this and you actually take it out of the inside of the candle because there's a maximum light in there. A little bit of maximum light on the edge here and then the candle, it's the flame itself. And I try to, to take away all the lines of the candle flame. I don't want it to be a solid dark line. And then again, bring in your slightly graphite cloth or paper towel. And there you have a glow. Now I will take these off and show you how easy and nice the edge becomes. If you were to put a black mat on there, then you can keep this nice crisp edge. Put this mat, put a mat around it like this. And there you have a candle glow. So that's my video on how to do a glow on a candle. Uh, please, again, look at my video on how to draw a glow. And if you like this one, please share with your friends and always subscribe because I always can use more subscribers. <laughs> anyway, hope you can use this over birthdays and Christmas holidays and Hanukkah and whatever else you want a candle. The same thing would apply if you were doing a fireplace or if you were doing an outdoor fire. So enjoy this and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.